This game is rated M for mature. Below lies only that which you have conquered, Kratos. The box is ahead, and Athens awaits your return. Okay, well, thank you for telling me, Athena. I wasn't really trying to go back down, I was just jumping around a bit. Below lies only that which you have conquered, Kratos. The box is ahead, and Athens awaits your return. I get it, Athena. Also, what's that in the background? Is that Athens? I think it's Athens. Probably Athens. Oh well. Um, yeah, I, okay. I just got knocked entirely out of the moment right there. How about we do an intro? That's a good idea. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to God of War. I am Wishblade. That was Athena telling me things, and I was not prepared for that. Apparently. So, with that out of the way, Let's continue with the upper floors! I think that Seder is uh, a teenager. He just seems so very laid back and everything's like, What up? I'm the shit! How you doing, man? I am amazing! Look at my rod and my, my dance moves and all the acrobatics and stuff. How you liking them apples, Kratos? But yeah, these are satyrs and basically it's just Spirit of Hercules them to death. So far, not barely a challenge. Maybe at some other point they will be, but for right now, meh. They're just dying and dying because they are just crappy and they're teenagers. We all know teenagers suck. And yes, I was once a teenager as well, and I sucked as well. That is something that happens. You become a teenager, you suck. That's something that happens. You just can't do anything about that. But then eventually you grow up and it's all good. Now, Harpy, what are you doing? Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the Harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been that long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god, destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the God of War. The Blades of Chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the God of War I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. 
So that's something that happened. Ares saved our dear friend Kratos here. And in doing so, he also got these fancy weapons that are now seared to his flesh. That is just... Ah -ha -ha that's not nice at all. Also, very interesting thing. Apparently, Ares descended down onto... onto Earth from Olympus. Sure. But only after Kratos got the Blades of Chaos did he use them to kill that giant barbarian with the hammer and everything. So what did that barbarian guy just do? He just stood around like, holy hell, is a giant guy with flaming hair and beard? He came down from the heavens! What the hell? He was just stumbfounded and then all of a sudden, oh hi, I'm gonna decapitate you now. Yoink! That's just insane. Just like the Cliffs of Madness that lie before you. In my grieving, I fear I may have to sign the maze with no true way out. If I am right, may the cruel, uncaring gods show you the way. Hala bala bala bala, once loyal subject of the gods. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't give a damn about them anymore. That's okay. Welcome to the Cliffs of Madness. Our next obstacle. Hey there, guys, how you doing? How are you doing? I'ma just smack you guys. I'ma smack your ass. Smack them all. So yeah, apparently the challenges weren't everything we needed to do. Apparently we need to go through a cliff maze of some description. Also, I am tired of you guys. Have some. Oh, I'm a oh, hey, hey. And you can see it's also grayed out right now, so as long as it's active, you can't activate it again. Also, the spirits or the souls are now red. That's so pretty. Red spirits. Also, there you go. Athens. I'm still guessing it's you, Athens, considering you're a burning town in the distance. I can't imagine we'd have a look at any other burning town. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. I will just smack you before you shut me down. Because that would not be nice if you shot me down. Not at all. Oh, hello there, Harpy. I thought you were going back to Ares. Why are you still here? Ha! You overshot me. Yes, here Volker. Am I good to go over there? Is it something I am? Hmm. Oh hi. I'm too busy looking at my notes, just so I don't miss anything. Um. Yep. Yeah, okay. Should be all right. In that case, let's climb across the rope, climbing all the way over here. Are the enemies trying to get me? Apparently not. Which is all. It's all good. It's fine though. Now, what do we have over here? There we go. Hello! It's been so long since I've been here. I hope I can remember everything, but obviously, I do have my notes. They have all the knowledge I need, but also something to be mindful of right here. Dodge rolling near cliffs and everything. Maybe not the best idea. Bad things could happen. Now you've been warned. Although, I might not follow my own warning. I have been known to do silly things, like falling off um, cliffs because I'm a silly person. Now, platform, I need you to come upstairs. And we are there. Um, now, safe point. How lovely to see you. Now, what do we have over here? We have this. A weird little chest. And yeah, okay. I'll take the health. Alright then. Hello again. I've met your friends already. Now, what are you guys doing here? Nothing? Okay. You're just hanging out, chatting with your friends, going into a cave. Apparently getting trapped. Also, that's Cerberus! And Cerberus' weird little face. How lovely. Also, I don't like you guys. There you go. We still have, I think we still have three souls in in the army. But just more powerful because it's red. And red is the color of blood and lust. I don't know. Lustful spirits attacking? Maybe. Maybe we got sucked you by. <laughs> oh, god damn it, guys. You are so annoying. But yeah, Army of Hades is 
lovely. It is powerful, it is so very simple, easy to use, and it is just looking awesome. Absolutely awesome. So I might I might use some of my magic on, on the army of Hades that might occur now and then. Just a little bit. Also, you guys are annoying, so ow, hey, stop! Seder! Seder, Mr. Teenager Seder! Seder, stop! I don't like Ta-da! Now here you actually do have multiple paths you can go. If you maybe noticed, I did pass a ladder before I went over the boulders that lit that led me to this weird little cave. And you could go you could go up there. Although it kind of makes for a bit more backtracking, so I like this route better because it's more straightforward. But once we're done here, we're basically right next door to to the other place, so it just makes more sense to me. And if we went the other way, a certain chest would be would be uh, disappearing because it turns into a switch for some reason to to uh, do something in this room actually. So. Yeah, this place just seems like the more proper route, and you stop defending. Seder, go away. Thank you. We are victorious. But before we go that way, let's go upstairs, see what they have to offer. Any treasure? Are you hiding the treasure up here? Apparently you are hiding yourselves. Why weren't you down there helping? That seems entirely silly. You're supposed to help your buddies. If you don't help your buddies, then you are buggers. Absolute buggers. So much buggery that I'm gonna do this. Whirlwind or Blade Storm. Either one works. There you go. Blade Storm. Blade Storm. The greatest of abilities. There you go. You just have some spirits. Any more of you around? Okay. You're fresh off the barn or something. Is that a thing you say? Fresh off the farm, or barn, or something? Barney? I have no idea. Oh, hi there. There'll be what? Oh dear. I'm very low in health. You know what? I did not pay attention to that. <laughs> there you go. Are we good now, guys? Are we okay? I think we are. Alright. In that case, let us be on our way. You know what? Just because. There you go. I don't like the look of you boards. Not at all, boards. There we go. Now we can press forward and move on to some other place. Hello. How we doing around here, guys? Another thing that we can raise. All right. Well, I guess we'll do that. Further up we go, the clips. Further up we go. So far, I wouldn't really say this is a this is a maze of any kind. Doesn't really feel like it. I'm just saying. And here, we could go this way over here with this boulder or stone thing, but we won't. We will go in here, into the helmet cave of some kind. Now I'm just gonna say, I do not like the look of the things down here on the ground. There's a lot of holes where it seems that something spiky is lurking down below in the holes. That's right. We are in a very pecu uh, precarious place. And by pulling this lever, we will also be trapped. But we get access to a box. So, come here box, come here box. I need you. I need you desperately. Go over here. Because we are now timed. And it's not all the way down. And let's go further over here. Okay, time to run, time to run and kick. Do the kicking and the thing. Come great us, my man. We gotta do the thingy now. Come over here, you giant thingy. And go over there. And... I was too slow. Oh dear, I needed to kick with more force. Yes, let's go in there again. And do it proper this time. Yes. And nothing we need to prepare over there, so let's just pull that goddamn lever. There you go. I remember the first time I went in here, I was like, can I not pull the lever? Because I have a feeling if I pull the lever, I'm gonna die. I was almost certain that lever would just be a trap. Just nothing but a trap. But it that no 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 There you go. Off you go. Off you go. Yeah, I think I've been fooling around a bit too much. There we go. Although really, 
Although, really, you could definitely stand between some of those spikes. That's something you could do. You don't have to die to that immediately, really. But, whatever. Video game logic, don't question it. Now, third time's the charm, hopefully. Come on. Uh, no! I am so bad at this. Oh, I'm usually so very good at this, but apparently not today. There you go. And uh, thank you. And uh, get ready for a kick. Yoink! Off you go, my friend. Off you go. Let me get that. Let me get it. And... And yeah, the spikes will destroy this thing, so be mindful of that. But there we go. Red orbs for me. Hey! Now, how many bars would I need for Army of Hades? Um... I guess that would be... Well, not entirely 34, but 33 and a bit more. A necklace with a red gem! I like red gems and gold. It looks lovely. Like a ruby necklace and runescape. The necklace of Aphrodite! I did say red was the color of lust and everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lovely. And with that, we're done in this cave. Hopefully we can leave now. Bye, Spikes! Bye! That's mighty kind of you to go away now. And with that, we can make some progress. Like going down here. And not dying this time. That was not enough of a drop to kill us. But is this gonna be enough of a drop? Nope, because we go down so very slowly. Oh, let me out of here, you goddamn bastard. Silly chest trying to keep a hold of me. Actually, that's one of the best things in the world. If you ever find yourself caught by a by a chest, then you should probably just enjoy it. Just sit back and enjoy that for a little while. Now, obviously, it might be a very bad kind of chest, but... Eh, no, 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 consider it. Consider the, the potential wonderment that can, that can be had from that. Oh, dear guys, stop it! You are annoying! Absolutely annoying! Go away! Have some judging! Ah! You are bastards, are you? You are freaking bastards! There you go. Oh, dear. Oh! Ah, I stopped ya! Now we shall go this way! All the way around here. Hello there, Archer and a Legion there. I'm not even sure what the hell happened there. I don't think I got hit. You definitely got hit. And I'm okay with that. Now what? I hear monsters. I definitely hear monsters. Now before we go in there, we go back down here and get this chest. And guess what's over here? If we go this way, little path. We go all the way down here. And if we go down here... Then, we're right back here! So that's the ladder you could go up if you wanted to go to the other part of the Cliffs of Madness. But, as you'll see in a little bit with the back dragon and everything, yeah, because considering that right there, that is also the way forward towards the very end. So we go all the way to where we need to go with only one part of this challenge or this area completed, and then we'd have to go all the way back. A very tedious, so, yeah. Not gonna do that. Also, Mr. Seder, please die. Nope. Hey, that's not nice. You with your fancy moves, you youngin'. Get off my lawn. I know it's not really a lawn, it's more like a cave we're in right now, and it's not really mine. But still, get off my frickin' lawn. And we have 26 bars of experience. I think we'll get the, uh, I think we'll get enough to upgrade the army of Hades a little bit. I'm sure we'll get there. It's only, what, seven? A little over seven bars? We'll be fine. I'm sure there are still plenty of chests to get, like this one. But that's magic, so that's an entirely different story. And you guys, well, well, you know what? You know what? I don't like you. And I don't think the army of Hades can reach all the way over there, so... Nah. I wouldn't bother. I'll just use the Zeus's Fury. Then all is good. Although that is kind of sad. There's a lot of red orbs there now going to waste. And this thing will keep moving, so... We gotta give it a bit of leeway. There we go. And up. And whoop. Ta-da! Victory is ours! 
Now let's just wait for this to go over here. Thank you. Now moving right along. Also, I'm fairly certain it's these Seder guys, but yeah. I think the Seders do have an ability where they grab you and then, I don't know, kind of vault you around and throw you somewhere else. And that attack can also throw you off ledges. Now you know. Just so, just so you are aware that if you suddenly are standing at a ledge and these guys, and you're fighting a satyr, bad things can happen. Very bad things. Also, shields. Also, a chest. I'll get some magic from this weird little chest. Thank you. Now, what is around the other corner? There's a path. Oh, and a path up there. I wonder what is up there. We will find out in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see ya later.